So we already know that there is a secret here. We have to re-blow it up because it does not save that kind of thing, which makes sense because you shouldn't be rewarded for, you know, dying. Hey everybody and welcome back to a requested series, Courier of the Crips. I had originally only planned on doing this as a review episode, but then I got some requests in the comments that you guys wanted to see more, so we're gonna play more. Now, I had already kind of done level two. As you see, I got three out of five secrets, three out of three relics. I'm just gonna do it again because I haven't found all the secrets, and this is only level two. So I haven't gone any further into the game besides this, but at least you'll get to kind of see, uh, you know, what everything is going here. So these magic fields will turn off your torches and they'll enable them again if you walk through them. You can see that I can't, I can't do the torch thing. Um, and I did this a couple days ago. Oh, I had a bomb. I really should remember that there are two different kinds of ammo. I don't have a torch to turn on. So this spider's probably gonna have to go. Uh, okay, so I, I I did find out a couple of things. So I, I can turn on the torch now, obviously. So this was one secret. I had to blow up a wall. It was cracked, so you could very clearly see it. And one thing that I've kind of been learning is that you don't have enough ammo to kill spiders. Like, I have 19 rocks. There are so many more spiders in this map then I have rocks that you kind of have to, um, I said it in my review, but you have to be creative because this game is actually about resource management and that uh, it's not super obvious when you are first getting into it. You think it's just kind of about exploration and, and puzzles, but to be honest, it's actually resource management. Now this might change as I get deeper into the game because I've not found a shop or anything yet. Um, but for now, I don't have enough rocks to kill every spider that I see. And so a lot of these, you just kind of have to be like, well, what's more important to me? Is it, you know, being able to use rocks to break stuff? Or is it that, um, you know, I, I kill all the spiders so I have an easier time, like, you know, wandering around and investigating? I also, I was so upset at the first stage because I did go back and find all the secrets and they were surprisingly well hidden and I, it made me kind of mad, but, oh, I need health. I'm almost dead. But what I learned is that each stage from reading online is self-contained. So what does that mean? That means that if... If you get to a stage and, you know, in our first stage, they, for instance, didn't give us any explosive um, rocks. If the stage doesn't give it to you, then it means you don't need it to find all the secrets. Oh, oh one of them survived. So again, I'm trying to not use rocks as much as I can and instead be smart about using the stage instead to kill things. Because it's not too terribly difficult to kind of lure them back into areas like that. And again, that saves me three stones. And that's that's a big deal. And I, I've said this in all the recordings I've made today. My throat is messed up because I'm sick and I really shouldn't be recording, but I, I needed to get some stuff done today. And so, um, if it sounds like my voice is kind of hoarse or I keep drinking water, it's because that did nothing. It's because I'm trying to keep my throat marginally nice. And I've been drinking tea with like lemon juice and stuff. Okay. So there's nothing there. Nothing there. 
Okay, so I remember being in this room before. And I don't believe there are any traps that I can use here in order to kill these guys. So like that guy, I think I just had to kill with that. I don't know what that is. This is blocked. But I got a couple more stones there. I can confirm that the red specimen of the spiders are found al allergic to magic lights. I've enchanted the flame in the room, and the spider suddenly turned it off with his net. It's alright, when, when we turn this on, that spider shoots it off. Which I'm certain is important. I could not figure out for the life of me why it was important last time. I really need HP, though. I don't have... Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I was in there last time. Um, let me go refill my torch real quick. So again, I'm already kind of low on rocks. There is this interesting bookshelf. Had maybe like a single coin. But I got a couple more rocks. And if I see, um, right, so there were also, also these cocoons. And so there's like a, a tree root or something coming out of that, um, that area. Also rats, I'm not sure if they have a purpose, but like that rat went in there. I'm not sure if that means something. So that gave us the key. Uh, and in this one, I believe was just, I think that's one of the spiders that shoots web. So that may actually be important. Although spiders are not very aggressive, hurting them just slightly will make them attack anyone nearby. Right. So let's save that spider just for a second. Black spiders, we've noticed, are actually the young ones where the pigment didn't evolve yet. It must be noticed that these just hatched spiders are not afraid of light so that they're very aggressive. Okay. We got a lot of money. Not sure what that thing is, like a plant or something. So this shows us that if we get light near a spider egg, it will hatch it. Many reports uh, say that, yeah, spider eggs hatch if next to a light source. There was a pot there that didn't seem to do... Oh, there we go. So I got a little bit more health. Again, that door opens somehow, and I don't know how. Running out of torch again. So here's one of the things I've noticed a little bit. There was a relic right here. Is that I can see more of the level up there. And that's where we light that thing. Um, and I'll show you that in just a second. Let me go get more torch. Yeah, these secrets are honestly so well hidden. If I couldn't light this torch again, like this infinitely, we would run out so quick. We would be in a huge, huge problem. So watch. So here's what we do here. We come down here. We activate this. We move this onto this, which opens that door below. We hit X to return. That opens up that thing. Oh, that's what opens that up. So we stood by it, and it gives us the torch. We can't do anything with these coffins. I heard a rat. I didn't see a rat. So if we let that spider that's aggressive, if we let him out... He's going to try to shoot a torch of some kind. But what would we even want him to try and, and shoot is the question. And the only thing that I can kind of think of on this stage is down here. There is this slightly collapsed area, which is a little bit strange. And if you come all the way down here, you can see that it curves up when the light does, when the light hits it just right. And I can't reactivate this. Nor can I even throw stones over that. So if there's a secret on this area, I really have no idea where it might be. 
Although, now that I say that, I don't think that's broken or anything. Can I walk through this? No. There's no secret walls or anything. Okay, so what do we think? Let's move forward with the stage, and I'll show you where... Let me go get more torch, because, again, that's really important. That red spider that shoots at lights that are lit has to be important somehow, and I'm not sure how yet. So this one went out when we activated the other one for some reason. Oh, God. So look. So once we open that, we can come through here, and then we can turn off our torch this way. Also, we can light these, which gives us the big key. But this does not help us in any other way yet. So there are two torches right there and there. And it seems like I might be able to light them or something, but what if I threw a rock at them? See, those are so suspicious. So we come back here. Oh wait, more rocks, perfect. So now that we have this, we walked back the other way. So now we can get in here. And this is a secret that I also already found. So these are the two secrets that I found that you guys know about. So we had to come all the way back here for that one. This is gonna turn off our torch. I don't think that helps us. And this is all the way at the beginning. Uh, and so you can see I'm just very confused, you know? I was afraid that it was gonna hit me. Okay, so we go this way. Our torch is still out right now. Uh, and we can go in here, which will be the next kind of little area. There's obviously no secrets in there. And I can't use the torch, and I'd really like to be able to use the torch. Let me go through this. We can use the torch right now, but that... Just... We've already been here. There was that huge glass wall there. So none of this... None of this changes anything for us, you know? So, okay, the only way we have to go is down. We found two secrets up here, which would make me feel like the next set of secrets would be on a different area. So, like this floor, for instance, right? Okay, so we have infinite torch. And there was in the um, in the last in the first level, there was a thing that there was a pressure plate that triggered one of the secrets that I hadn't known about. So pressure plates are a thing. And then here, there are these egg sacs, and so if we get too close to them, they're going to crack, and spiders will come out. And then there's these logs here that we can use. There we go. And so again, this is really the way to do this because otherwise we would be using a lot of, um, a lot of torch. So this guy comes this way. Ow. I was not supposed to run that direction. Let me tell you directions that you were not supposed to run. So that's just money. Let's go back up here without getting murdered this time. Turn back on our torch. So there's one egg sack to the left here. That I can definitely hatch. There's one here. And we'll go again. It's always about resource management, so we want to use the traps to kill them as much as possible. Let's go uh, crack this one. There we go. Again, we're just trying to be careful. There we go. Go ahead and turn the torch off for a second. 
There's one more spider right here. And this should be the last one for this little area. Go ahead, try to walk through, I dare you. Smashed instantly. What a dummy. What a complete idiot. Uh, and you definitely need your torch, because what I found out in the last uh, area is that if you have your torch run out of fuel for too long, there's a prompt that says, like, the shadows are out to get you, and the shadows, they come to get you. There's no surviving. They just... Did you ever play Bubble Bobble? If you ever spent too long uh, in Bubble Bobble as a kid, a game on the NES, um, there would be a whale ghost that would come and get you. Just murdered you. Kind of the same thing. So this was... Okay, this was a third secret that I guess I had already found. Um, and to do that one, it was a switch way down here. So, like, the spider didn't attack the lights or anything. And I can only imagine that those... Those spinning platforms are there just to kill the spiders. So this. This is what... You flip in order to get back up to the top into that secret area. So that, I believe, uh, before opened this door right here. And so again, we're kind of at the end, and there are two secrets. Two entire secrets that I have not found, that I have not even the faintest idea where they would be. But let's go back to uh, the bottom here. And that's actually one of the really nice things about this game I will give it credit for. Maybe I can put out the torches? No. And now I only have four rocks. Not good. So I can't get down there. Is there a Zelda secret? Nope. I broke that. I don't even know what that's there for. And if we go in there, it's the end of the map. And so, like, you can see kind of my... my confusion on where that secret is. Um, I'll do one new one. Because I, this episode will be a little bit longer, and that's okay. Just so you guys can play a new one with me as we discover it. So I have four stones... Which is, as you may have guessed, not enough stones. And I know from the first stage, there are going to be secrets that are, like, against walls that you kind of can't see. Okay, so that spawns some spiders. By order of the abbot, we're sealing the reservoir due to spider infestation. I suspect there's more than just spiders, though. We're enabling all the defensive systems on this level. Okay. So I don't have enough rocks to deal with all of these spiders. So for the time being, I'm going to have to just ignore some of them. Oh, now he's mad. Yeah, I guess if you get too close, they can um, start to get angry. We're just going to let that guy walk by. Okay, I can't get down there. And this area is 100% infested with spiders. So here's a relic. And that guy is shooting web at me. That's really not very nice. Let's keep the guy shooting web alive. Because that may actually be like a useful thing to have. Because we could use him maybe to put out a light or something. And if I find, um, wow. If I find an area that we can bomb, I will let you know as soon as I see it. Oh, God. I don't want to hatch any extra spiders. Okay, so here is a torch. Perfect. Okay, so I can't get over there. That is a switch. 
I'm running out of stones. Oh, I'm trapped again. That's not good. Uh, a strange wooden machine pumping water. I would guess from the music that, oh, it's a boss. Holy popsicle defense. Okay, we're firing things at me. Oh, there's spiders. Well, I took care of the spiders. That's easy. Easiest spider killing of I've ever done in my life. Oh, oh, there were more spiders apparently. Okay. I have a lot of money. What am I supposed to do? Ow. Am I supposed to hit the machine? Oh. Wait, how did that other one not hit? Okay, I'm out of stones. Which is a... Serious problem, as you may have imagined. Hold on, if I'm out of stones, what am I supposed to do? No, really. I'm, I'm out of torchlight. Uh, can I have them blast open this door? Very confused. Oh, I have a bunch of explosive bombs. That's what those were. These are not doing damage. Okay, one moment. One moment. Okay, these are working. Ah, I'm fine, everything's fine. I didn't realize that what we were picking up were explosive bombs. And stay shut. Okay, that's easy. So I'm completely out of uh, things. This is no longer active. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Let me tell you how bad this is. Let me tell you about how bad this is. Oh God. Can you not? Oh god. I've doomed myself! Okay, pick this up, whatever that is that I don't actually know. I really don't know what it is. Uh, okay. So we have no torch. We at least have some health. No! Heck you! Oh, that really only killed one of them. Okay. I, I, I'm out of ammo. All right, so like I said, this game is all about resource management and doing it well, you know, well, not like how I'm doing it currently. They forced us out of the area because of lockdown. I walled the room behind the bookshelf so spiders won't ruin the place with nasty net. Uh, okay. Behind the bookshelves. Hey, that's great. Oh, yeah, see, you can see the crack. So that's very obvious somewhere where you need to toss a bomb. Here's the thing, though. I don't have any more bombs. Wait, this is a secret? It was just open. 
Okay, we got explosives. Okay, we got one explosive. Don't mess it up. We got one chance. I really did not want to do that, but I was going to take damage. Is this room full of spiders? Okay, we found another secret. We got some ammo. We got another explosive, which is real good. Would there be a secret in a secret? I don't think so. But you could see there, it was really super obvious that that wall could be blown up. And that's, um, that's what I've sort of noticed. Oh, that's, oh, those are eggs that are going to crack. Get me out of here. What is that? Oh, I got a gear to make it turn. Oh, okay. We're filling up the water thing. That doesn't seem like a good noise. I'm not, you know, an expert on noises. Oh, it just like pushed a key directly up to us. I mean, that's convenient. So we're still missing an entire relic. And relics aren't exactly hidden. They're floating there super obviously. Okay, so that was the gear. We did that. That's a pot that I don't want to waste a stone on. Nothing I can do down there. Our torch is actually getting a little bit low. I... Uh. Yeah, I, I really... Oh, wait. Come on. Oh, come on. They were so close. Ah, jukes. Okay, not, not, not as... Oh, we got one. This black spider's actually really fast. No! Oh, I thought I timed it so well. I have no rocks now. Hey, that's great. I somehow managed to sidestep that spider just now. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I need to crack these eggs open. Because I need, I need access to this stuff. Okay, let's kill this guy first, I guess, because he wants to die so badly. That was a little bit tough, but we got it. Okay. Damn it. Oh, that was a little bit close. Not gonna lie. Cut that one slightly close. Come on. Turn off that. Come on. Perfect. Hey, you know, I'm getting real good at that. That has to count for something, right? So we already know that there is a secret here. We have to re-blow it up. Because it does not save that kind of thing. Which makes sense because you shouldn't be rewarded for, you know, dying. Okay, let's go back down here. Now that we've broken those two. Okay, so that's another explosive, which again is very useful. Come down here, that'll light. Save our torch. Oh, we didn't... Uh, we didn't grab the... Damn it. Hey, I'm getting real good at walking around in the dark. All right, yeah. You know. Got one. Okay, we just need to circle this guy. We're not gonna make that. We're not gonna make that cycle. Oh come on! There we go. It's again. You can't. You can't waste your rocks. There is zero rock wasting. The more that you can walk around in the uh, in the dark, the absolute better. Okay, so we got 12 rocks, four explosives. This is super good. Let's go back. We'll save that if we need it. Wait, there's no reason to rush. We're not in any rush here. Let's grab this guy. We can get him killed on the spikes as well. And again, it may take slightly longer it was perfect. It may take slightly longer to do these stages when we're killing the spiders like this, 
but it's well worth it. Oh, come on. Ah, that, that's fine. Got him. Okay, so that guy was really here for no apparent reason. I know there are a couple spiders down here that I think I could get to, yeah. I don't like that noise. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Boom! I'm getting so good at this. You cannot deny. You may not deny that I am getting pretty good at this. That looks like a door. That right there, that little... That, this. You see that little archway? It even looks like there's a room down there. Okay, turn off our torch for a second. Yeah, come back up here and grab that. That's actually important. We got everything that was in there. It does strangely look like there is something in that glass panel there. Let's just make sure we're being thorough. Yeah, that's weird. I have five. I could try. Ah, oh, nothing. It was a waste of one explosive, but you know what? Peace of mind. We know that that's not anything. Okay, go down here. We'll break this. Just to get that. We'll come back over here. We'll do the wheel. I stepped on that so many times. Or is there anything perhaps in here? That looks like secret-ish? No. And I don't know how many secrets are in this level, so... You know, I had extra stones this time. I was like, maybe. Maybe breaking that pot, there's a secret in it. There wasn't. So now we have to go back up to the start. So we got the big key. We're still missing one relic. Let's turn off our torch. We don't need it. We've kind of explored this area. Yeah, again, it looks like there's something that continues to the right, but... I'm also not sure if the shadows attack us if we've had our torch out for a long time, or only if... Only if we run out. Oh, this is fun. I need a key. Okay, we got all the relics. I can't do anything else down here. It doesn't look like. Um, actually, I think I can kill that spider. Ow. I'm gonna die! Now I'm in a bit of a problem. Come on. Ah! I was, oh God, I gotta do all of this again? I'm gonna cut back to it when I get it done. I'm not gonna bother killing everything this time because it hasn't done anything useful for me. That's really upsetting. Oh, I'm really upset really thoroughly upset okay i only have one hp which is bad but we are making progress i really need hp there we go oh a torchlight We'll just go ahead and kill that guy. I don't like the tentacle thing. Yep. Kind of figured. That doesn't hit the spider. I 
I think I killed it. Did not kill it. I don't know that I can kill it. I'm gonna say that that's probably a, a thing that you cannot do. This is rather annoying. Now it's all about dodging projectiles. I get it. Oh no, there are so many. Oh, what does this one do? It spawns a spider. Spiders are easily dealt with. Okay, we have health. We got some keys. I need to get up into this room here. Okay. Okay, that was a secret. That's really no surprise. See, this is why you can't, you can't use all your stones. You gotta save them. And it seems like we can't kill the tentacles either. Okay, so this area, I believe, is done. And of course, every time we break one of those things, we, like, can't come back to it. So I believe this area is done. We're gonna go back up. Light that, because that spider's annoying. That looked like a floor panel. I really would like this spider to go away. I guess I'll just wait for him to walk down. We should have the key to that room now. We got that treasure box on the left. I think we're pretty much done here, actually. Besides the fact that my torch is soon to run out. Double key action. Oh, good. Uh, so it looks like there's nothing else there. We missed a secret! I thought we were doing so well. I thought we were doing so well. Oh, so now we have options. So now we can go to the, tr oh, the Crypt Shop. Let's take a look at that before we go anywhere. Ooh, what's this place? It sure looks like a shop, but where's the shopkeeper? And why is there a shop in the crypt? I could just take something and leave the money here. Max HP plus one is 600. Lower flame consumption. Throw further. I will take the extra HP. The lower flame consumption is interesting, but I haven't really had a problem with it. And throwing further does not really interest me. The question is, how do I get back to the back? Is there a secret passage here that would allow me like under the counter or something? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well the extra HP is certainly useful. And then I guess we'll check back on the Crypt Shop later. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and back out of here. So you can kind of see like how tough this game is. Um, the secrets are really well hidden. If you have an idea on where the secrets are, by the way, let me know in the comments. I'll go back to that stage and I'll test whatever you guys think you found. Um, but yeah, actually, I think you guys were good to call this out. I really enjoy playing this. I think it's a good let's play kind of a game, so. I'll just upload this today or tomorrow, and then I'm not going to go back and do the first episode completely, because I think we pretty much did it, uh, and so I think you guys should all be caught up. Now, I don't think I really cut much out of the first the first 30 when I did that, so I'll just label this as episode 2, because the first 30 was technically episode 1, and then we'll just kind of go from there. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think, what you, th uh, what you thought in the comments down below, and again, tell me if you think you know where those secrets are, and until next time, burn bright, everybody.